Hi there, I'm Black Bright, and I just a quick video about the universal credit, which has been increased as of April 2019, and which is going into full effect from July 2019, and it's going to be rolled out um, between December 2023. Um, the implications for that is for those, well, universal credit is for people who are on low income. And um, in certain cases, you get a little housing benefit, you know, incorporated into that. If you've got children, they'll cater for up to two children, no more than that. So if you've got five or six children, you only get benefit for two. And it's stuff like that. But I just wanted to, oh, and also you can work while you're on universal credit. It's just that you're only allowed to earn a certain amount. If you go over that amount, um, then it tapers off. They take 63p in the pound for every, you know, for every pound that you earn over and above the allowance. If you're below the universal credit, then you get the full universal credit allowance. So it's quite good that you are allowed to work and you'll still get it. Um, it of course relies on your needs and your housing costs. Um, Allowance are set monthly work allowances, um, single responsible for one or more child of qualifying young persons is £503. I think that includes the housing or £287 if you've got no housing element. Single who has limited capacity to work, £503, which includes housing or £287 which is the basic couple responsible for one or more children or qualifying young persons 503 well they're all 503 and they're all 287 so i don't even know why i'm saying them all individually so that's basically the rate um let me see what else might be important oh you know if you're self-employed and you haven't had a good month they actually supplement that you know, to make sure that at least you're getting the minimum wage at the end of the month. So suppose you just um, you're working and all you've ended up with is a hundred pounds a month. What they would do is is that they'll work it out um, for well. It's, I'll tell you what the national minimum wage is for over 25s now. Um, it's been increased by 4.9 percent in April, and that's eight pound 21 for people over 25, seven pound 70 for people 21 and between 21 and 24, six pound 15 for people aged between 18 and 20. Um, yes, so if you're self-employed and you haven't met that cap. They'll actually supplement you to make sure that at least you get the minimum wage for that month, which I think is quite good. I didn't realise that. Um, yes. Yeah, so what else did I want to tell you? Um, I think I mentioned that with children, you're only allowed um, to claim for two children, no more than that. Also, they actually um, help you with your mortgage, which surprised me. Um, I'm going to read this because um, I don't want to get it wrong. The housing element for home owners, you may be eligible to claim extra money to put towards rent and service charges if you are a tenant or help with mortgage costs if you are a homeowner without an income. To be eligible if you are a homeowner and part of a couple, neither of you can earn any income. You can get help with leaseholder costs if applicable, but you normally have to wait around nine months from the date of your universal credit claim. And that's what happened to me. Remember, I did a video and I um, I was out of work. I was made redundant and I went to um, the job centre and I put in a claim, you know, for my. Well, I at that time, they was only paying the interest on the mortgage and. The, the way they had me waiting, if I hadn't had any insurance to cover me, I would have been up the creek without a paddle because that's how long it takes, nine months. So I don't know what they expect you to be doing if you're in dire straits for that nine months before they start paying out the mortgage. You would have lost the home by now. I don't understand their logic with that. Anyway, 
maybe they think you must have some saving i don't know what they think but anyway so that's good and it's not good it's good that they do it but it's not good that you have to wait nine months for it for help with mortgage interest you only able to take out a support for mortgage interest loan which has an upper limit of two hundred thousand so you can take out um you know they'll help you with the interest on the mortgage but you, by way of a loan of an upper limit of 200,000. Who's going to be able to pay that back if you're not working, if you haven't got any income? That doesn't make no sense to me. Um, and it's calculated using the standard rate of interest. This is currently 2.61 at the time of this. Um, so your mortgage interest rate is, if your mortgage interest rate is higher, the loan is unlikely to cover full payment. So you're still up the creek. Um, they have a housing element for tenants, but you don't normally qualify for help with housing costs if a close relative owns a property, you're a full-time student, unless you have a disability or a child, you're a single person aged 18 to 21. Um, Yeah, I just think that I'm just kind of giving you the key things. There's a lot of stuff here, but I mean, if you're really interested in it, I just really want to let you know that it's been increased and that it's being rolled out because a lot of people, um, when they first introduced the universal credit, um, a lot of people weren't used to getting a lump sum. And what happened, that's why so many people are homeless, because they've been spoon fed. They got their they got their rent paid, they got their council tax paid, they got their um, gas, electricity paid, their water rate paid. All they needed to do is have their little money at the end of it to do their little shopping and whatever they could. They managed on that. Now they're being given a lump sum. They don't know how to manage it, a lot of them. They see a lump sum and they think they can do whatever they like with it and they don't get to pay the rent. I mean, a lot of those guys have never seen so much money in their life. And so everything goes up in the air. The rent doesn't get paid. They get evicted. They're on the street. And the, um, the law is that if you default by not paying your rent, they do not have to house you. So if you have universal credit, and you haven't paid your rent for whatever reason, they do not have to hit ha rehouse you. You get evicted, you're homeless because they see that as one of the responsibilities you have to maintain. And that is why they're giving you the money. So you can't appeal to them and say, I've got children, I've got this or I've got that. It falls on deaf ears. So that's very important to know. They will not rehouse you if you have not paid your rent. And that is why so many people are homeless. Um, what else is their main stuff? I think I've covered the main stuff. Oh, yeah, you can have savings. Um, if you have less than 6,000 saved, this won't have an effect on your payment. So you're allowed to have 6,000 saved and you still can get the universal credit. If your savings are between 6,000 and 16,000, it will be treated as if you're receiving an income from this money when calculating your new, when calculating your universal credit. This income will be £4.35 for each 250 or part of 250 that you hold regardless of whether you receive any income from your savings or not. So, yeah, and also they take into consideration any unearned income um, and money you receive from other benefits. That includes contribution-based job seekers allowance, contribution, contributory employment and support allowance, carers allowance, widows, mothers allowance, widowed parents allowance, widows pensions, maternity allowance. And for every pound of income you receive from other benefits, your maximum universal credit payment will be reduced by one pound. So I think that gives you a broad idea for those of you who um, no people who are on universal credit, if, or if you're on universal credit yourself, what to expect, when it's going to be rolled out. And yeah, I hope it's helpful. Bye bye.